Report to you live here at the Ontario Science Center for the Dinos in Motion exhibit. It's live from last week, episode 146. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jerry Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, first of all, we'll start off by saying, just like in previous Laugh from Last Week episodes. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Happy Mean Girls Day, everyone! And on that note, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends in high school who had a sick left foot while playing soccer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alonzo. Happy birthday, Alonzo. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there who always seems like he's having fun on the golf courses. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Toto Ron. Happy birthday, Toto Ron. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, last night during my night shift, recalling these scenes from last week's episode, well, I'm planning to use my DC skate shoes that I use every day, replacing my worn out work shoes. I had finally utilized my DC skateboarding shoes as my new designated work shoes while saying goodbye to these babies that I bought at today's sportswear over a year ago. The shoes that I wore at work over the past year. Thank you so much for your service, old black worn out work shoes. And after going back to the Saga house for a nice quick post night shift nap, remembering this segment from last week, she showed off to me her most recent nail style of which she's gonna take with her on her trip going to Egypt next week with the sister-in-law. I was the afternoon Uber driver for the wife and the sister-in-law, taking them to Pearson Airport to go on her flight to Egypt for the next week and a half. All right, guys, off to Pearson to fly out to Egypt. Yep. Have fun. See you in two weeks. Yeah. Go find your Egyptian princesses. But now, after sending them off to the airport, doing just like I did only a couple of weeks back, I made my way to the local two-for-one pizza for their two-for-one Tuesday pizza special before going home prior to my second night shift in a row tonight. As well, throwing back to last week once again, they were able to celebrate the fact that they clinched a spot in the 2023 MLB playoffs of which I'm really excited to see my boys represent Toronto in the postseason later on this week. Catching the Blue Jays AL wildcard playoff opener in Minnesota versus the Twins. Woo! Nothing like watching the Blue Jays game and eating some Popeyes just like I did exactly one year ago while having some two for one pizza just before my night shift. Let's go Blue Jays! Firstly, today I just want to start off by doing a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends back during my YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Eric. Happy birthday Eric! Next up, I got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who I'm remembering playing alongside with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you Ali. Happy birthday Ali! And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of the oldest professional sports franchises here in North America. This birthday shout out goes out to the Toronto Argos. Happy 150th birthday, Argos. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now moving on to this morning, after getting note that their flight was recently delayed slash canceled and rebooked, and after saying bon voyage to them just yesterday, when I got home, I saw this random piece of luggage on the floor, as well as seeing an unexpected visitor sleeping in the living room on my couch. Well, evidently the wife and the sister-in-law had transportation back from the airport early this morning, 
and had to wait back here in Scarborough for the rebooked flight this afternoon. So after taking a quick post shift nap, I sent them off to take their private car ride back to the airport. Bye, enjoy Egypt part two. For take two of trying to depart Canada for their planned trip to Egypt. And after waiting around all afternoon for a particular game to start, I got to catch game two of the Blue Jays wildcard series. A must win after losing yesterday and judging by several of these reactions that I had during this game. E outside. Okay, good. Woo. Oh my gosh. You guys can tell that was definitely pretty stressed. But after the Jays weren't able to score any runs during this second game of the series, are you serious right now? This was my raw reaction of seeing the team that I followed all throughout the summer being eliminated from the playoffs. Anyways, after watching some post-game analysis and coming to terms that I just watched my last Blue Jays game live and in person last week, with my recently purchased playoff ticket that's not going to be used this year, I'm off to try to catch up on some lost sleep and to mourn the end of the 2023 Blue Jays MLB season. So waking up after my body got less than six hours of sleep, getting up early way before the time of the sunrise, I continued my morning of the Blue Jays being eliminated with this Sportsnet highlights analysis on TV while editing some of the Blue Jays happier times with content from last week on the laptop. I would also saw this post on Twitter which wrapped up exactly what I thought about last night's managerial decisions during the game. But moving on to the events of the day today where I got these babies off of Facebook Marketplace before the pandemic to replace my DC skateboarding ones as everyday shoes. Seeing this guy for the first time in a couple of weeks. And shout outs to my mudding head who got me into this sport when I was younger. I went with my buddy Cam. Yo, Tim Hortons. Hey, let's not die. <laughs> okay, let's yeah, go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> to Ashbridge's Bay to go disc golfing for the first time. So my buddy Cammy and I had such a fun time going disc golfing today that we headed to this place near the Ontario Science Center to check out some disc golf frisbees. And well, the wife is definitely not gonna like this, but maybe just purchase one or even two of these disc golf frisbees. And after we made this spontaneous purchase, we headed across the street to E.T. Seton Park to test out our new prize possessions. Let's try the Sasquatch. <laughs> okay, let's try the Merlin. <laughs> Maybe take your backpack off. Ooh. 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 
pretty good. That was almost the same spot. Nice. Oh. <laughs> And after some practice with a more challenging course here than at Ash Bridges, Cam had this review of his first day going disc golfing. Let's get Cam Sue's review on his disc golfing experience. How'd you do and how was it? Pretty good, pretty good. Yay! Very fun. He says it's very fun. <laughs> Yay! And now, after parting ways with my buddy Cammy for the first time since this episode, guess who is finding himself at the Cadillac Fairview Fairview Mall at FG Bradley's looking at new disc golf frisbees to fuel this newly found potential addiction. I'm just kidding guys, but guess who's back at Ashbridge's today? Obviously using his new disc golf frisbees, ready to practice and play a couple of rounds of disc golf once again. But moving on, let's see what else I'm up to later on today. Whoa, I'm here at the Argos game with Scott and we could have been at the halftime show. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> so after a great night hanging out at the Argos game with my buddy Scott and his buddy Todd, Scott and I enjoyed the game just as we should have. Watching these highlights that I was able to catch. Let's go, Chad Kelly! Oh no! No, Chad Kelly! Hey! As well as being surrounded by and meeting some of the Argos legends that you guys can see here. Yo, with the kissing bandit, Adriano Ben. <laughs> Belly! <laughs> And meeting from my hometown, the mom of this Argo alumni that we've seen in a previous Laugh From Last Week episode. Yo, Mama Foley! Don't look at the hair. Thanks to meet you. From Curtis, Ontario too. Nice to meet you. As well as one of my favorite Sportsnet sports analysis that I've seen on TV. Yo, guess who I... <laughs> hold on. Guess who I ran into at the Argos game? A Rashman Danny? from Sportsnet. What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing, Haas? Yo, that's too professional, man. That's too professional. Nice to meet you, man. I appreciate you, mate. All in all, I had a great time here at the 150th anniversary Argos game. I also did go home happy with the Argos winning last night using public transit while having the hiccups because I had a couple too many bevies last night. Oh, man. After an Argos win, taking a go train back home. Oh. Oh, definitely had a little bit too much to drink. Oops. And celebrating back home with my patented late night happy meal. Anyways, starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who is an avid sports fan and who is an inspirational father figure to his two daughters. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kev. I'm hoping that you and the family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But now, continuing on with this jam-packed Thanksgiving long weekend, after still not catching up on sleep and waking up too early even before the time of the sunrise, with the wife over in Egypt traveling with the air tag we named Doggy, if you guys didn't already see, I'm wearing something similar to what I wore to the Toronto Beer Fest from last summer to attend an event that I've always wanted to go to. Reuniting with one of my former co-workers who you guys haven't seen since this episode, Sydney, at the Garrison Commons in Fort York to attend the 2023 Toronto Oktoberfest. You and I in a little toy shop bought a bag of balloons with the money we got set them free at the break of dawn one by
Wow, what an amazing and fun time that was over at Oktoberfest Toronto. Where we were able to meet and drink with these fun guys at our table. Hello. Look who's back. As well as having some of these highlights that were some of my favorites. And keeping up with the busy, long Thanksgiving weekend full of activities, right after Oktoberfest, passing by the Scotiabank Arena, of which was renamed October's very own arena, in honor of Drake's concert there last night, I made my way in costume and all to 52 to celebrate our family's Thanksgiving dinner. What is your dress? <laughs> They're both legs. But you know why? Because mine matches this. You want it from here? What? Who are you? Who are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Whoa! Gobble, gobble. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> So after meeting and greeting a whole bunch of family members that I haven't seen in quite a long time, Smile. Smile. <laughs> I passed out from a very busy and exhausting day, actually earning a star on my sleep record, getting at least 8 hours of sleep or more. Now on to today, where I was visiting this place for the first time since this Live from last week episode, I was able to take the sister and Andrew over here to T-Bones for a nice steak and eggs breakfast. Up next, as per tradition, when visiting in from Ottawa, we went to the place that Andrew had aptly renamed Publicity in the Midden and Finch area to the bubble tea place here called Gongcha for, well of course, some bubble tea. Two, three. Oh no. Yeah, pops in the so was covered in <laughs> Next up, I decided to take our visitors in from Ottawa to a place that I haven't been to in a long, long time. Finally, using my membership here that I bought several years ago, going to the one, the only, Ontario Science Center. But although I got a couple of my favorite clips from our visit that you guys can see here. One, yeah, let's two. do one constant stream. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, wait, we have to have it like this. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will just have to wait until next week's episode to check out the music video that I got in store for you guys of our trip to the Science Center. But before I wrap up things for the night, being back at home to visit the parents... I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made back in my childhood when we went to Mother Teresa. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Mike. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So unfortunately, I had to cut short yesterday's segment because I was being summoned just like the last time I was at my parents' place. 
to check out Tito Eddie's hot tub in the backyard before I could do anything else. It's cold! It's cold! Oh Where's the bubbles? <laughs> but anyways, after learning all that we could during our session at the Science Center yesterday, I had spontaneously upgraded my membership for the reason they had this promo of only 25 bucks more, my membership would be able to be elevated to the next tier. And this allows me to get 25% off all general admission, up to 4 children ages 3 to 17 for free admission on my visit, as well as an extra day of free parking. AKA hit me up cause your boy here has some membership perks that he wants to use on you guys next time you want to go to the science center. But yeah, after seeing scenes of some of our cousin's favorite dinosaurs in this pretty cool interactive metal dinosaur exhibition. Yo Chloe, look, we found a stegosaurus. Going back to this place for the first time since this live from last week episode, we all went with my cousin Louie for another fun session at the nearby Activate with once again a couple of highlights that you guys can see right here. Unfortunately for you guys, you'll have to wait till next week's episode for the music video of this recent session at Activate. So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. But moving on, after wrapping up a Thanksgiving Sunday night dinner with the family at the parents' place. Thanksgiving. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. The sister had reciprocated the gesture that I did last time when I dropped her off at the train station, this time dropping me off to catch the last train back to Scarborough for the night. And now today, going in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts, recalling that now the Blue Jays season is over and I have to clean up all my Blue Jays gear all around the condo and to store it till February when spring training starts up again. I'm just going to throw a quick happy Thanksgiving greeting to all my Canadian friends and family out there. Happy Thanksgiving, guys! As well, I got a quick birthday greeting to one of my cousin-in-laws out there who is excited to see DJ starting from scratch for her birthday. This birthday shout-out goes out to you, Vida. Happy birthday, Vida. I'm hoping that you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And with that guys, it's time to wrap up this week's busy live from last week episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walk for PLB on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walk or POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.